uh, we are doing a Dino World thing, and I'm debating whether I should just put one in, one here, or two. But uh, we'll get to that here in a little bit. But I'm thinking just one should be fine. But uh, so anyway, so uh, today we are doing Triceratops. If I choose to put two animals in here, it's going to be Triceratops and Parallelosaurus. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and, and get started by just uh, putting the uh, water in the lake. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and speed through this really fast. All right, and there. So hopefully that there was some satisfying water placing. Uh, I don't know, ASMR time lapse. I don't even know. But uh, we can go ahead and get rid of that now. And now we can start uh, decorating the water. So first off, I would like to uh, actually just kind of put like a kind of like a rock here in the middle of the lake. So some, I don't want a giant rock, just something that can uh, look like a pretty decent rock shape, I guess, formation. So uh, something somewhat along the lines of about like this here so uh about like that then you go ahead and fill this in and then about right here is going to go up by a half so well yeah about right here is going to go up by a half so i can go and get rid of that and i got rid of the water bucket and now i need it there so uh this right here is going to go up by half so I, this right here will go over about like that and cut like that all right and then right here this is all going to become stone and then I want to kind of go out of the waters by a block right here on the very end of it, about like this. And then I need to put the uh, slabs about right here. So that way it's kind of like a rock about like that. Oh yeah, and then I also need to uh, get kind of look more like it's coming out of the water some. So about like that. And then maybe just get it to where it looks a little bit more like it was engraved into the water. Like it's still like midway through the water. So uh, something about like this and, uh, and get more off in the front right here. So about like that, I think that, that looks pretty nice, let's do a little bit more right there, and there. There is the uh, massive rock boulder thing right in the middle of the lake. So now I need to go ahead and just kind of spam some seagrass everywhere. Or actually, there's a way better way to do this. It's called bone meal. But what I want to do is just get rid of that, and I got rid of the dirt. That is very fun. Uh, there we go. It's just called bone mealing. And then all I need to do is just get rid of the coral, and we are good. Uh, so, you see here, now I need to go and get the sugar cane out. They're probably going to break it, but whatever. I need to just, I'm just going to do this right here, because if they don't break it, that would be extremely good. Pretty much the rocks and the trees and the bamboo and the grass. So, um, anyway, let me just go ahead and get all the stuff to make the trees. So, I'm going to have, like, a few giant trees and a few smaller trees, and they're all going to be custom made. But I don't want too many of them. I'm pretty much imagining, like, so that area over here is, like, a plains area. Well, this area over here is kind of like a forest right back here. Right over here is all plains area, just a few, like, maybe about two or three trees in all this area. And over here is going to be a forest with about a good six trees in this small area. So, first off, I'd like to work on the forest. So, I'm thinking for the forest, two, I mean, four giant trees, two smaller trees, all custom. And then in this area, about three small trees, all custom. So, um, anyway, uh, right over here, I would like to try and get maybe about uh, one strip jungle log and three strip spruce log trees. And uh, just go ahead and get one of each of these right here. So, uh, first off, I need to figure out where the trees are going to go and exactly how I'm going to design them. Alright, so I started, I uh, finished up the forest, and uh, so here's what we're going to do now. Uh, I can get rid of this and this and uh, this, because I won't need any of that. So, pretty much now, uh, actually, I think that would actually work better than this. Where is it? Where, it's over here. Uh, so pretty much now we are going to uh, work on some palm trees. So I'd like to try and get some palm trees around here. I'd like to put about one there, one right back there, and another one around here probably. So I'd like to get there, there, and there. All right, so I finished up the uh, palm trees here. So uh, now, and I was going to add bushes, but the, they're going to break them. They're going to break the leaves, so there's no point in adding the bushes. This is going to end up being broken anyway. And I feel like the same thing with the bamboo and sugar cane. It's going to eventually, I don't feel like the parasaurus, parasaur office would do it if I do add them in here. But I, I'm 100% sure the triceratops would. And, I'm pretty, and I think the parasaurs might. But uh, So I need to go ahead and add in some bamboo. I need to add it, I'm mainly going to just add it along the uh, sides here. And it actually very surprised me whenever I figured out you could put these on sand. Because I, I, that does just not does seem real. Like I, I feel like in real life these things will not grow on sand. Like, I've never seen a sandy bamboo forest just saying, like, if anyone would like to, like, prove me wrong, go go for it, go for it. Like, I would really like to know, but, so anyway, I'm just trying to, like, kind of put some uh, bamboo around here just to add in some green back here, so that way it's less boring in the back of the exhibit. 
But guess what? This is all probably going to get torn down by the Triceratopses because I would not really be surprised if it was or wasn't. So now I just like to add in a few stones here and there. I don't want too many because I want this area to look pretty flat. And uh, so I'm just trying to add in a few. I probably want one right under here. Uh, so it looks something kind of about like... This snare is probably going to be like the biggest one of them all, but... Just doing this right here, just that way I can add in something under here. So, uh, some about like this. Well, maybe I can stop it right there. But then, uh, about like this, and, uh, and it's just going to kind of come down into about like this. So, all right, there can uh, do it for the rock. So, anyway, now all we need to do is just add in the bone meal and uh, see what happens. Alright, and I think that can do it for the bone I mean, There's dandelions everywhere, but I'm not too worried about it. But, uh, so I'm thinking whether or not I can still make this a multi species habitat because it, it is definitely pretty big. But you're saying, would it be big enough to hold like three triceratops and like three parallophosaurus? That's what I'm thinking because I think three or four triceratopses could be enough just to fill up this entire thing. Here, let me just uh, pull out this right here and I'm just going to see how many dinosaurs we have left to make. Let's see how it is. Uh, so let's see here, we'll put one there, oh that's a baby, doesn't matter, put one there, and then we'll have another Triceratops right here, so that right there does take up a decent little bit, but how much the, will the Parallophosaurus, like that doesn't take up much actually, but Parallophosaurus there, Parallophosaurus there, and then one there, so I feel like that there would definitely be enough room for them to share, and then I can do another Triceratops because these things travel in herds, and there's another baby, I'd like to do that, and then do like that, so that way I know that I have different variants, I, there's definitely enough, but I feel like I can definitely add in one more of these guys, and that there is good. We have a herd of five right there, and we have a herd of three. Let's make it four. I don't feel like this area should be too cramped. They should definitely have enough room. Like, with the forest and all that, should definitely be enough room. So, we have a multi-species exhibit here, so uh, we can go ahead and get these back. I feel like, very possibly, we could do in Calosaurus. But there would only be two. Because they still have a good bit of room. Like, look at this. Like, if, if, if I just did, like, this right here much of an exhibit, that would be a somewhat decent amount of room. Maybe just, like, three Triceratops instead of five. But, like, say if I did, like, that much right there, like, there's definitely enough room. Plus, these guys right here like to hang out near water areas. Those guys right there would definitely like to hang out there. I feel like there is no reason that I could not just put one or two trusts, like, not Triceratops, but Ankle of Sources in. There's, there's, I should be able to do that, I think. I should definitely be able to do that. Let me just try this out and just see what I think of it. So let me see here. If I just place one of these bad boys down. Oh, well, it's a baby. I need to know what the size is. Let's see here. What are the size of these things? I could very well easily put two of these in. Let's go and put two of these guys in. And there we go. We have a multi-herbivore exhibit. And, of course, I don't want Brachiosaurus in here for obvious reasons. Because they would tear down everything. But that right there... I call good to go. We have already cleared out all of our herbivores. I was really thinking it wouldn't be big enough, but apparently they can all fit in here. So uh, that does good. That will save us a good bit of... So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, uh, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, peace out.